Okay, welcome everyone. I've been looking to see if I can improve the audio for my Samsung TV, which has me researching different soundbar options out there. I'm trying to find one that isn't overly expensive and won't add more complications for my family or house guests just to turn on and hear the sound on the TV. So for our review today, Tautronics provided us with their 32 inch TV soundbar. It's less expensive than many of the others and uses a simple optical or aux connection to connect it to the TV, though it does lack a dedicated subwoofer. So in this review, I'll be comparing the sound from my Samsung TV with and without the soundbar to see if it's worth it. And be sure to stay tuned until the very end for a special discount code for my subscribers. So I've unboxed the soundbar and found that it comes with soundbar connection instructions, a remote control that requires two AAA batteries, an auxiliary cable, an optical cable, a wall mounting template, and that also includes screws and wall anchors, and the user manual. On the back here you can see the optical and aux in connections, as well as our two prong power plug. On both the left and right sides we have our holes for wall mounting. And in this review I'm going to be connecting the soundbar to my Samsung TV using this included optical cable. So first off I need to see how long it is to see if it'll reach. And according to the tape measure here the optical cable is about 46 and a half inches long. So a tad under four feet. Now it's probably a good time to put in the batteries. So right now I don't have the optical or aux cable connected, so it's set up for music by default and the Bluetooth icon's flashing because it's looking for a Bluetooth device. So might as well go ahead and pair that up now so you can hear what that sounds like. So if you're using an iPhone, you'll go under your Bluetooth settings and open that up. And then down towards the bottom, the Tautronics TTSK023 should appear. And now that the Tautronics soundbar is paired up with my iPhone, you'll notice that the Bluetooth icon is now a solid blue icon. So now to test the Bluetooth audio connection, I'm gonna play back some video I have of a recent thunderstorm. So to me, the soundbar sounds clear, but it lacks some bass. So for now, for the last part of the review, let's connect the Tautronics soundbar to my Samsung TV's optical connection and compare the audio with and without the soundbar. So even though Christmas has exploded in my living room, I wanted to show you the appearance of the Tautronics soundbar. It has a classy finish and a nice metal grill, feels solidly put together, and has nice rubber dampening feet on the bottom. Top control buttons include power, input, and volume up and down. Now we're in the land of dust bunnies and nerf darts behind my TV console where I had the forethought to add an optical keystone jack when I did the wiring. So let's plug in the optical cable Tautronics provided us here. Now let's go up top and plug the other end into the soundbar. Here in the Samsung menu system, go down to the sound heading and select external speaker instead of TV speaker. And then make sure your SPDIF out is set to PCM instead of Dolby. Dolby will not work on the Tautronics soundbar. And now to compare the difference in sound, I'll be switching between the Samsung TV speakers and the Tautronic soundbar while playing music. Is it blood? No, there's a there's a leak in the ceiling. There's a brown, disgusting ah! drip coming. All right, so final thoughts. The sound is definitely richer and deeper than the built-in TV speakers. The audio sounds more directed towards you, which is nice. And I like that I can use the Bluetooth connection to play audio off my phone to the room as well. However, for me, having yet another remote is a bit cumbersome and partially because I have an older TV, the experience doesn't feel integrated enough. So if you're looking for an inexpensive upgrade to your built-in TV speakers, the Tautronics soundbar is something you can check out in my video description below for more information, as well as a discount code offered to my subscribers. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by clicking on the like button, and thanks for watching.